Welcome back everyone, so I just recently hit 335 on my first character and so I thought in this video I'd show you guys my Titans loadout and just sort of an update on where I'm at with my character as of the April update. So starting off with my weapons, I've recently switched back to the Hawkmoon as my go-to primary in PvP with the recent buff. Hawkmoon is actually a really good one to get, not exactly as OP as it used to be in year 1, but it's in a really good spot. So naturally this is one of the first weapons I infused to 335, but my first actual 335 primary was the Soros DIS-43 with perfect balance and counterbalance. This is also one of my favourite primaries, I've been using this thing since pretty much since the Taken King came out. It was one of the first few arms day weapons that I got and I'm glad I did. I actually did a review on this weapon when this thing first came out, so if you want to check that out there'll be a link in the description box below. The rest of these are just some random weapons that I keep around, like this 335 Monte Carlo, not really sure why I infused that, I just did it for the sake of it. This Red Death, I've also got this Shadow Price which I never even use. It has Hot Swap, Fitted Stock, Oiled Frame, Rifle Barrel and Third Eye. I'm not sure why I don't use it, I think it's just because I'm too used to other guns now and I'm not really into Auto Rifles anymore, even the Doctrine of Passing. I have this Adept Doctrine of Passing with Persistence, Burst frame and rangefinder, and even this I don't really use. As for my special weapon, I pretty much always use the Thousand Yard Stare. I have two of them. My Arc one has the Shot Gaze Scope, Triple Tap, Injection Mold, and Hidden Hand. Whereas my Solar one has the Long View Scope, Triple Tap, Reinforced Barrel, and Mulligan. I like to keep both these around just for the damage types, it comes in handy for PvE. Other than that though, I don't really use any of the special weapons much, there just aren't really many non-exotics that I like. I kind of just recently started messing around with other weapons, like this new monarchy sniper that has explosive rounds. It's not great or anything, I just like to use it when I feel like messing about in the crucible, it's just fun to use with the explosive rounds. Then there's just these other Prison of Elders exotics that I keep around just cause, as well as my 335 Black Spindle and this Stolen Will Shotgun which you get from the Taken version of the Archon Priest Strike, although it doesn't have any good perks. I'm still chasing the Zen Meteor, I've yet to get that, even after opening so many exotic engrams. Then for my heavy weapon, depending on the situation, I normally switch between three main weapons, this variable Future War Cult Machine Gun, my Raze Lighter and Sleeper Simulant. Normally I'd use my Soros GLB-47 Rocket Launcher for PvP, or the Quillum's Terminus, the raid machine gun, but I've recently switched to this future war cult machine gun, the variable. I believe I got this from a package, and it came with counterbalance, perfect balance, and range finder. I actually really like this as well, it's just kind of a nice change for once, and it's got some pretty decent stats. Then the ghost that I'm using is just this competitive shell I got from Lord Shax's weekly bounties. I'm just using it because it looks cool, but I do have other 335 ghosts as well. This Dread Explorer shell, this Consume shell, I've yet to infuse these two, and then this Iron shell. Moving on to my armour now, as you can tell I'm a pretty big fan of Future War Cult. Their armour is just really aesthetically pleasing, especially their helmet. Now this helmet is the same design as the original vanilla Vanguard armour and has always been one of my favourite helmets in the game, so I'm really glad that I was able to pick this up from the future war cult and carry it to 335 light. I do also have the new Spectre variant of this helmet with the chroma effect, but it's only 334 light. The rest of these are just some helmets that I carry on with me. I actually also really like this Spectre Pandian helmet, this looks really cool with Chroma. You can't really see it with this shader, but if you equip something like a black shader, then the Chroma really stands out. Now these gauntlets, a lot of people have been asking me about these gauntlets and where I got them from. Unfortunately for Xbox players, these are actually a part of the PlayStation exclusive Jovian Guard armor set. So far they're probably my most favourite gauntlets out of any in the game, I absolutely love the way they look and the design of the shoulder guard on the left arm. It's the same armour worn by Commander Zavala. In my opinion, this Jovian Guard armour set is probably one of the most unique Titan armour sets in the game, especially the shoulders. It just really stands out from the rest. If you're wondering how to get these, they can only drop from Sublime Engrams, and unfortunately, as I said, this armour set is PlayStation exclusive as of right now and will come to Xbox at some point in the future. As for my chest piece and boots, these are the Spectre variants of the Future War Cult set, so these have the Chroma effects as well. 
For the class item, I'm currently using this Kells Mark from Varix. It looks cool, but I don't think it really matches with this armor set, and so I'm looking to replace it at some point, because none of the class items I have on me right now don't really suit my armor. Now, the class item was actually the last thing I was missing out of all of my gear to get to 335. I just couldn't get any from the Prison of Elders, and I actually ended up getting a 335 Omnigo Bond from the Will of Crota Strike, which is the strike exclusive reward for the Will of Crota from killing Omnigo. And so, I was almost tempted to give that to my Warlock and hope to get another 335 class item, but in the end, I just gave in and infused it to my Titan to get to 335. And finally, my artifact, Veltalo's Vigil, I got from the Tier 3 Court of Oryx. If you need a 335 artifact, Court of Oryx is definitely the way to do it. I've got about 6 or 7 which I've passed on to my other characters, and I've also got on this other 335 artifact, Firebreak Eternal. So, that is my 335 light level titan. I'm really happy with how my character looks now after the April update. 1 to 1 infusion has made the game so much better. My next goal is to get the full Jovian Guard armor set. Let me know in the comments what weapons you're using as well as your favorite armor and what light level you currently are. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time.